Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corbett and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4 as we head into episode 5 of our early Reich achievement run. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the last few episodes, we're going to continue here uh, starting our next war actually, so if you want to discuss what's going on in Let's Play so far, then the Discord will be in the description, and of course subscribing would be a massive help. Now, let's begin our war against uh, Mecklenburg here which I'm pretty sure their allies would be Anhalt and Utrecht. Uh, Anhalt being here and Utrecht being over here. So Utrecht will take a while to help, but Anhalt is immediately right here. Now, we also have our ally Saxony with quite a few favors, so I think we'll call them in. Uh, not the Palatinate, Saxony. Call to arms real quick. So they're going to help me in the next, uh, in the next day. If we just unpause for one second, there you go. Uh, so Saxony is now on our side. It'll take, I think, the AI a few seconds to um, to respond. Oh, are Mecklenburg's allies not responding to this? Interesting. I was sure they would join in. I'm wondering if I'm losing my mind or something. Cause I was sure they were going to join in. Okay. Well, it might be technically ten wasted, uh, ten wasted, you know, points with Saxony, but well, that's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, maybe I uh, just sort of forgot last episode. Maybe I wasn't supposed to call Saxony in. That's entirely possible, but I'm not gonna like restart the episode for it. You know, sometimes we make mistakes, we forget things, so it's okay. Um, enough of problems for prestige, or we can get yearly prestige for admin. Diplo and money. Mmm, that's a lot of that's a lot of money, really. That's what I'm looking at. The admin too. I think I'll lose the prestige rather. Oh, did they just Oh, there you go. Now Anhalt and Utrecht are in. Ah, I knew it. I knew they would do it. They just uh, decided to take their sweet time with it for some reason. Which is weird, but. Okay. Uh, it's level three capital. We only need to have four people on it. Four units, I should say. Uh, we're gonna go and help out Saxony a bit here. Maybe we don't need to. Oh, yeah, okay. Apparently they are not very interested in defending their land. <sighs> don't worry, that's what I'm here for. And then I'll head over here to Utrecht. I don't know why Gellert's capital is being shown to me when we're not at war. Weird, but okay. We'll just um, move past it, whatever. So, uh, this will be done really soon. Ah, uh, did we mark this as, we did mark it as wanted. Oh, they don't want it, beautiful. Uh, we'll see if we can afford that aggressive expansion. If we can, that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. Uh, and how to, if we took it, it would be uh, only 14, not so bad. Full annexation is 25 from Mecklenburg. Hmm. And at worst, I think I'll be sitting at around, well, the closest person. It's a minus 26 with Lienberg and uh, Liebeck. Oh, that's loud. So Liebeck and Lienberg are not going to like me very much. But I don't know if they'll join a coalition because of that. We really just have to worry about proximity. Because Anhalt will be fully annexed. See, if we fully annex Anhalt, uh, we do have a claim on it. So people are less likely to hate me for it, which is fine. Um... So it's only 14 aggressive expansion. Which will bring these guys up to 40. Then Mecklenburg will be another 25. That's kind of dangerous though, isn't it? I don't think I can do both Anhalt and Mecklenburg. And I'd prefer Mecklenburg because of the Lübeck provinces. And I get closer to Lübeck himself. Uh, we'll see how things progress really. If I had stronger allies, like a stronger ally base in general... Oh wait, Utrecht owns this too? Oh, that's weird. Okay, uh, I guess I'll... Do this first then. And then move over. Oh, I can't get across, come on. Please let me across. Why can't I cross through Gelra? Oh, that's so annoying. Please, I just need to get across. 
I think I'll have to ask Gelra. Yeah, I think the, the trade ships are doing their rounds too quickly, so I'm gonna have to ask Gelra. No, you dummy, go around like this. Thank you. Okay, first of all, Justified Wars, very, very important. Uh, that might actually fix it for us. Depending. And how does 13? This will be 22. Ah, it's better. It's only 35, which is a lot better. It really is a lot better, but I don't know if it's enough better. I'm hoping it is, because I think I'll go ahead with it. There's no easy way of telling, like, oh, what'll happen if I get, you know, 30 or 35 aggressive expansion or something. There's no, there's nothing it's going to tell you specifically. You sort of have to guess based on the first one you took. Thirty-five. Well, on the bright side, no, that might actually put Bohemia in too. If the thirty-five becomes actually thirty-five, then that'll bring Bohemia in, and that's probably going to be a big, big oopsie, big rip. Really unfortunate, early. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, Moldavia is a march under Hungary, which is interesting. Usually, they're a vassal or a march of Poland. Hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna continue the trick from last time. We're uh, we try and get Saxony to siege for us. So these guys are gonna stay here. Uh, ah, Saxony's doing its own thing though. Ah, where did you guys come from? Weird. Okay. Huh. Never mind. We're just gonna have to stay here. <laughs> I don't think we have enough men to siege a, a level three for it if we leave any of them behind. Uh, but on the bright side, they now have nothing. Pretty much, at least. Alright, and I should be looting all of these, right? Am I doing good looting? Do I have enough looting on these troops? Let me speed four. Uh, also, let me get a spy network here. Um, yeah, we'll keep one on there. Yeah, looting's not going very quickly. But we don't really have the troops to spare to loot faster. Well, this is unfortunate. Oh well. What can you do? Nothing much, really. I need to take Ro Rostock real quick. Move these guys over here. Oh, okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. There you go. Come here, Saxony. We need your help. Technically, kind of. Not really. Um, I'm going to leave... A 1k on there. That's an 8k they have coming over, so that's more than enough to, to do that. I'm going to save myself some manpower. Loot this stuff up. There you go. A decent amount of looting each month now. Oh! And I'm the Emperor now. Okay. Uh, that's a little awkward. But, uh, okay. Hmm, yeah, this is... Interesting. Hmm. Alright then. Well, I don't know what to do with this power now, to be honest. Uh... We're gonna pretend it's not there for now. Uh, Charlemagne's Legacy for Diplo Rep, very nice. Uh, is there anyone who I could snag PU over? Not really. Um, now that I'm the Emperor, though, I'm wondering who would be willing to be chummy-chummy with me. I'm wondering if... It would be funny if Lithuania would actually... Oh, it's actually there's a chance. That would be really funny if Lithuania became my friend. Poland can't declare on me, then. Uh, because they're also friends with... With Poland, so... They're also friends with Lithuania, at least. Um, bring that fort down. Hmm... The game has just changed a little bit. Alright. So people kind of like me now. I'm not really going for the whole Holy Roman Emperor thing. I just sort of had it there. Um, so that I could become Emperor. Get the inheritance and then dip. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, let me grab the dip load up because... Sure... Uh, the trade efficiency... Hmm. 
Diplorep would be useful if I wanted to stay Emperor, but I don't know if I really want to. Oh, this is really interesting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Uh, I don't want to survive through the religious war. Because I'm going to be thrown into that now. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, let me move down here, start looting over here. Alright, we can peace Anhalt out. Okay, Anhalt. Uh, I kind of do want to take this. And I mean, people are less likely to kill me now because I am the Emperor. I mean, I'm a tyrannical Emperor at this point, just annexing things, but... Whatever. I own this now. Um, our war exhaustion is also not that bad, so I'll just go ahead and pour it. Uh, I can demand unlawful territory. And if they say no, then what, what does happen if they say no? I think I just, like, lose some, some Imperial authority, and Imperial authority doesn't really give me much. In fact, what, what am I doing right now? I don't really want to play with the with the Emperor mechanics. I just sort of, uh, yeah. This is just interesting. Just really interesting more than anything else. Unexpected, really. Um, but it does allow me to have a much larger army. This could be a really good thing. I can have a force limit of 41, which is higher than Poland or Lithuania. Maybe I could actually be more effective than Austria. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. Oh, Poland is also at war with Muscovy. Lithuania is at war with Denmark and Muscovy. Poland's at war with Muscovy, though. That's what I'm hearing. We'll see. We might be able to strike Poland relatively soon, actually. And if, if you know, if nothing else really effective, then of course break Danzig's vassalage. Or get them to release a couple of nations, weaken them at least. Um, because now, our maximum manpower is rather huge. So we're getting a large number of men each month, which is really nice. Okay, this could actually be really nice. I, I might start getting used to this, the whole uh, emperor thing. If I do it right. Not that I want to form the Holy Roman Empire, of course. Um, to form Germany... I need to, of course, not be the Emperor, so... That'll be fun. Maybe I'll just, like, have everyone hate me and then, like, disinherit my king right before I form Germany. That might be a thing I could do. Who knows? Uh, lose money for a Fort Defense guy? No, I'll just take a Prestige hit. Money's kind of important, usually. Siege of Utrecht is over. So let me go in. Oh, I could take this stuff now. I'm not that stupid. I'm not going to do that. Uh, war reps. Release nation. Money. Sound good? Sounds good. Bring all the troops over here. Wait a few days. Get rid of that. Take both of these. It's going to be a coalition of four nations. Okay, not bad. Not as bad as I thought it might be. Okay. Doing pretty decent. Okay, not bad so far. Not bad at all. Now, if I wanted to declare on Poland, Lithuania... Oh, they wouldn't join. Oh, they wouldn't join. That could be really nice. Um, That could be really nice, actually. Because they're also at war with Muscovy, right? I don't have the men... I have the force limit, but not the men for this, though. Which means I'd have to call in the Palatinate who has 9,000 troops. Hmm. Just doing some quick, like, balancing in my head, see what I can really get done here. Because if I could strip uh, Poland of its allies and of Danzig, that would be gorgeous. That would actually be a beautiful thing. We're going to see how weak Poland becomes, though. I want Poland to give it its all in the war against Muscovy to do absolutely everything I can in its power, and then, you know, if they end up a little weak after that, then, uh, solid. 
I don't think these guys are really gonna rise up because, you know, same religion, same culture group, so pretty, pretty solid. Uh, Poland's actually at war with, okay, Muscovy and all its vassals. Ah, I really do have to, like, check numbers a lot. So Muscovy is doing really solid. That's a lot of men. Muscovy and all its vassals. That would be Ryazan, uh, Beluzaru. So Ryazan, ooh, 12,000. Beluzaru, 4,000. Um, and who else? Herm, which is probably four or 5,000, usually. Okay, this is really interesting. A lot of wars going on here. Sweden is no longer uh, rebellious in the slightest, which is maybe not good for us, but... Okay, so if we do go to war with Poland, our goals for this war would be... Um, take Danzig and Königsberg to form Prussia. Um... Maybe break alliance with Lithuania, although, who knows, it looks like Lithuania is losing this war, actually. Meaning they might break it themselves. In any case, Lithuania is in absolutely no way available to fight. Uh, they'll bring Bosnia in. Oh, and if we could get the next military, that would actually push us right over the edge. We could really do this. This could be an actual thing we can end up doing. Okay. Okay. Um, do I... Do I need that? Maybe. I don't know. We do need to spend a bit of mill, mill development. Or if I wanted to declare... No, I can't declare very soon. I took this, though. Oh, it'd be so powerful if I took this. I think I'll wait until I have a sizable army first. I want to build another... Another army, I think. What's the uh, combat width? 24... Okay, so I want to bring this up to 24, so I want 8 more. This will be a full army stack. Uh, this is, you know, our perfect composition as we can possibly make it right now. Uh, sure, we'll help Austria out a little bit. Oh. Okay, let me get rid of one of these guys then. Apparently we have this guy over here. I didn't even notice. Uh, I am the Emperor, though, so I should be able to have access. Odd how I don't. Maybe only at war I have it. Okay. Let's ask. Go through here. Yeah, yeah, I'm over my limit for now. Cancel that access, go through here. Okay. That's fine, then. So we'll have the most efficient possible army we can have right now. Because, um, you know, cannons don't exist yet, so... That's what's up with that. We're gonna get a really big spy network in Poland, I guess. This guy is still a 1 for 1, not great. Uh, Poland, are you giving it your all? Are you fighting as hard as you can? Two mercs, 8,000 manpower, 27,000 troops. Uh, looks maybe, maybe like that. The Palatinate doesn't want to, doesn't want to help because they're in a war. Pretty big one too. We might be fighting this by ourselves. Maybe. Um, I will wait until the war is done. Because it looks to me like, uh, Poland's gonna be having some fun here. For a little while. I don't want them to, to worry about me and peace out of this war. I want them to do everything by themselves right now. So I'm also going to decrease my maintenance. Uh, we can afford to hire a little bit more of an army. 193 worth. Hmm. And I did hit that uh, holy thing, right? Or is it the holy war? Cable sanctions of war. Yeah, I did hit that for more manpower. Which was a good idea. We do have claims on all of uh, East Prussia. Prusen, sorry. Which is good. Um, I used to... 
Yeah. East and West Prussia, so. Uh, how long has it been this episode, actually? About 20 minutes. Okay. I don't know if I want to start the War with Poland this episode. We might. It all depends on if this whole war ends first. It really does depend on that. And if need be, I think I might hire Kondatieri. That might be good to do. Poland's manpower is starting to go down. Which is good. Uh, no allies for me. Bosnia is... I don't know, doing Bosnia things. That's not what I wanted to do. 7,000, okay. And so we'll take the next tech when, when we're about to go to war. Like, immediately before we go to war. Uh, and then I think I'll hire one cannon too, actually. So, not yet. Not yet. We might end up taking it ahead of time too. Who knows? 826. It's expensive, but other than like like land, you know, military development, there's not much for us to do with it. So uh, we'll see. Does combat width also expand? No, it doesn't. We get military tactics, and we get. I think we'll hire one cannon for siege purposes. The value cannon, of course. Um, legitimacy is fine. Power projection. Hmm. We should insult someone. Uh, Denmark or Lithuania? I think I'll rival Denmark. Probably, yeah. Cologne will get rid of your military access. I'm just wondering who else I can be friends with who will help me out in these uh, in these wars. Bohemia is a definite no. Austria is friends with me, but they're busy. Um, Aust Hungary likes me, but of course, busy. Bavaria. Not busy, but I don't know if they'd help me. Hmm. No, I don't think so. We might be going it alone, which is probably fine. Ah, lose a stab, really? Or corruption and a whole bunch of issues. Guess we're ta tanking some corruption. That's fine. Oh, heir to the throne. Okay. Uh, apparently our guy just died, and I remember him not being very good either. So. I think that's really good. Actually. Our heir has a weak claim, though. Mm, that's fun. Let's be better friends with the Palatinate. Uh, yeah, someone else can take Emperorship after I'm done with this Poland War. I think I'll be satisfied. Anything else I can do here? No, okay. I was thinking... Maybe we could take it for the plus 25. Oh, I think Poland's really starting to go down now. Hold on. Poland, the mercs have gone up significantly. Well, you know, I'm just going to sit here until uh, the war looks like it's going to be really easy for me. Oh, right. Power projection. Ah, I was just about to do that. So, Bohemia, I'm going to tell them that they're... Uh, uh, their country's a big piece of poo-poo, and um, they're going to hate me for it. So there you go. Uh, an alliance with Saxe-Lauenburg. Hmm. Is that in my best interest? I want strong, powerful, big allies. The big boys of Europe to be on my side. Sweden will maybe eventually become one of those. It just looks like they're not for now. <sighs> okay. Um, Milan would ally. Savoy would probably make a good ally. I think I'll, I think I'll ally Savoy, actually. Uh, but hold on. Are we only getting plus two because... Yeah, we're getting plus one from Emperor. Okay, we'll have to remember that. So Austria, the Palatinate, Saxony. I only need the Palatinate and Saxony to remain Emperor. Not that I really want to be for now, but okay. Uh, so Savoy, they're relatively strong, and uh, we have the possibility to PU them. And I don't want to immediately kill them. So, you know, I, I see some good bonuses overall, all around. 
sure I'll be your friend and your uh, your royal marriage partner. Religious ideas. Eh. Oh, I could take this for minus ten. I guess I'm behind on this, aren't I? Sure, let's take it. Aggressive expansion is gonna take a while to tick down, so I really do want to take only two provinces and just destroy Poland for the rest of my war score. The Heretical Comburendo Act. Uh, liberty desire, sure thing. I don't care about that. But it gives me bonuses, so I'll take that. Wow, this war really is just, just keeps on going on. Which is great. It's fantastic, actually. Also making lots of money. England hates me. Wonderful. Um, and, yeah, I'm just going to keep... Keep looking at Poland, you know. Watch those numbers drop, baby. Let's see how it goes. The Palatinate willing to join again. Whew, I'm getting uh, I'm getting excited just thinking about this. This could be a really, really solid war. Could be a changing, or a turning point, rather, in the entire series for the rest of the campaign. Could be this war with Poland. Oh, Warsaw actually just got occupied. Jeez. Muscovy is wrecking face out here. God damn. You love to see it. This is a good time. Lithuania is crumbling. Poland just got their capital sieged all the way down. Poland's also uh, below me in, in men now, half of which are mercs. Yikes. Um, I don't want them to, like, annex Densik, though. So, um, maybe if Densik's capital is occupied, they can't do that, which would make sense, you know, from any sort of standpoint, except for maybe... The game standpoint, who knows? Oh, we're capped on military. That's not good. That's not good. Go boost a couple of clicks there. A bit more manpower here and there. Oh boy, this is looking really, really nice. I wonder if Poland's in debt. Uh, am I a great power yet? No, not even slightly. Uh, so I can't check their debt, can I? Not an econ, or any way, can I? Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there's really no way to do that. That's unfortunate. Okay, I think soon would be a good time um, to start this war. We're only going to go with the 24k so that we have manpower left over for, uh, you know, getting men back in the army. But we're also kind of out of time, aren't we? A little bit, huh? Uh, so before I move on to the next episode, we will take this ahead of time slightly. We'll also hire, uh, I think... What's the range of these things? I think it's like two or three from the back row. So three would be a good number, I think. Let's go with the one, actually. Just go for the one right now. Um, but we're pretty much out of time. So next war, or next episode rather, will be the war with Poland. Hopefully you guys are excited because I'm extra excited. Probably you can tell because I'm speaking too quickly again. But anyways, this is Corbett signing off. Hoping you had a fun episode this episode. And as always... Have a fantastic day.